What up, YouTube? Today I'm bringing you guys a brand new video. I'm sorry, guys, I haven't been posting, but today's video is actually a really exciting, exciting video. We're gonna do a video on the accord. You, if you guys haven't, make sure to watch the last video. I introduced my accord. It's my daily, so I want to make it more personalized. If you guys can say, so I actually bought a little cheap eBay intake just to give it some sound and help the performance. But I don't think it's gonna really help. But, but let's stop talking and let's get straight to it. Well guys, those are the car parts I have so far. Here's my short ram intake from eBay. I'm gonna put the links down below, so let's unbox this. Got a couple other parts coming soon, so you guys are gonna have to stay tuned for that. Let's unbox this real quick, right here. All right, unboxing the intake right now. Let's unbox this. Oh, it looks like that's the nipple for the intake. Let's put this right here. There's the mass airflow, little piping. Aluminum, pretty cool. What is this? Oh, here's all, all the hardware. Just letting you guys know, this is my first time seeing all this. It's pretty cool. Quality isn't too bad, how I thought. Intake, they all do the same purpose. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, but let's take this filter out real quick. Oh, damn, it's gonna take a minute. Give me a sec. Be right back. Moment of truth. Oh, damn. Oh, wow, this is actually pretty nice. Looks like a little KN or AM intake. Not bad. Came with this clamps, so I'm chilling on that. Peep the cord, guys. Look how he's looking. I actually did a couple of things. I tinted these little reflectors. I got a really cheap eBay lip, and I painted the grill. I'm gonna repaint it. Got some wheels coming for it. But look how it looks, guys. You have to take this bolt off, which is connected to the silicone piping or tube for the intake box. But my thing is completely stripped, so I have to break it. So I'm just gonna stick my thing in there try to break it Ugh, let's try getting this off there it goes so rusted guys that's the thing about working on old type of cars broke right off look at that look at that save me so much time all right, right guys i ended up just pulling as hard as i can got this piping off it's gonna slack a lot of things when we take this off so right after that we are gonna take off the mass airflow sensors Taking off the mass airflow sensors, do not strip this bolt, guys. I stripped this one, but somehow started getting pissed off. Took me like 20 minutes to take this off, but I used PV blaster, helped a lot. So, unscrew these. After taking the bolts off, I recommend just keep it in your cup holder of your car, hide them somewhere very safe. Just put that in there, in the cup holder. Let's go back over here. There's gonna be two little pinch spots on both sides. Gonna pinch it, hold this part, hold this part down so it doesn't fall out or damage. Just hold this and pull it. Ah, there it goes. Move this over right here. Carefully take this out. Oh no, carefully. Put PV blaster all over this and wipe this down. All right. Right after taking the mass airflow sensor off in this tube right here. You guys will get your 10 millimeter socket. I have it on my little torque wrench so I can get the job done. You're gonna put it on this bolt right here. This is on the top, right next to the fuse box right there. You're gonna open that. After that, it's done. You're gonna go around and see this bolt right here, right next to it over there. You see that I'm gonna start touching it. It is right over there, right there. You know, unloosen that bolt. After you guys do that, you guys are gonna want to use the pliers, but I can't find the pliers for some reason. So I'm gonna use some vice grips. I'm gonna grab this part right here and pull this away. Move over. And we're gonna pull this one off. All right, guys. After that, you see these little ribbon-looking things, which is right there. These are like the other ones. You're gonna clamp onto those, move that over, and then pull this off the nipple. So I'll be right back after I pull this off. All right guys, I got this one off the nipple, which was a pain in the butt, like a big pain in the butt. I'm just gonna use, I'm gonna reuse this one, which is the second one next to this one. I'm just gonna keep this and put it straight into the intake. But right after that, you guys are gonna wanna pull this thing off, which over here, you can see, you can see, focus this thing you're gonna clamp onto that with the vice grip or whatever you're using 
after you've ice skated, move that over as much as you can. And after that, you just pull this off. Pull this thing off. All right, guys, right after you pull this thing off, this system, you're gonna actually have to delete this. So, as before anything, there's gonna be a zip tied on the mass airflow sensor. You guys are gonna wanna break that zip tie right there. It's right there, right behind. So don't pull on it like I was. Break that zip tie and take this off. Pull this thing off, I'll be right back. All right guys, I actually just put my um, flathead in there and I pried it open and broke the zip tie because I couldn't freaking use my blade. After that, I just put this harness somewhere to the side. And you're gonna have to take this off this nipple so let's do that real quick right after we toss this stupid thing actually no i'm not gonna toss it all right after you guys i actually uh wanted more room so i took off the tubing off this thing it should just pull right off if your thing is loosened make sure you use some pv blaster and loosen it if you guys can't get it off so let's just throw this thing in the garbage screw that thing but let's get to this now you guys should be able to see there's this little harness thing connected to the bracket or a zip tie. You want to just break that zip tie loose. After that, it should just pull right off because you guys took off all the screws. So let's do that real quick. All right, guys. After you guys break this zip tie off, it was a pain in the ball. I recommend you use a blade. You guys should just put your hand in there. Pull that thing out. Oh, my God. Is there another? Oh, never mind. All right, guys. I, it took me a sec to pull this off. Oh, voila. This big ol' box is out and let's throw it on to the side screw you you took me a second take off but yep look how much space so i recommend you guys to actually clean out all this stuff which i'm gonna because when is the next time you're gonna be opening this and before you guys do anything to this thing i recommend you guys should take this little piece off it's gonna be stuck on here it's like a little thingy so let me take that off all right guys i just took this off i'm gonna actually grab my intake box i'm actually gonna use this if i ever sell the car and put this back on so all the stuff see this little piece i'm gonna put this right there so this tubing i recommend you guys should keep this if you guys are doing a short ram intake this tubing will actually bring in cold air on driving through this little piping or on the bottom so it goes through so after that we have all the space and let's go get the intake now all right guys so i just went and got all the hardware that came with this ebay intake i am in my car right now i'm gonna dump this out on my driver's seat this is brand new so it shouldn't be that dirty Ugh, come on come on all right before anything just letting you guys know these pipings are actually cuttable so you can cut these and resize them wow came with clamps all right guys so you're gonna go over here you're gonna go to your car engine and you're gonna get the um you're gonna get the coupling that goes from small medium to big you're gonna put the small side in to the throttle body so try to put that in before that oh shoot almost forgot be sure to grab yourself one of these little thing on my jiggers these little clamps that's what it's called you're gonna grab your clamp keep it on this bigger side and try to fit on this coupling all right guys i just fitted the coupling on i put it so i put it all the way on so it's like perfect fitted and you're gonna get your little um this thing here i forgot to call you're gonna put it perfectly and you're just gonna tighten it so it smugs on all right guys so you're gonna put the piping on this way towards the nipples in through this and yeah let me just put that on make sure to put a coupling on Make sure to put your little thing that tightens it before you put it on because the nipples will get in the way if you try putting it in that way. So let's do that real quick. All right guys, that's how it's gonna look. I just put on the piping. I'm trying to like push this in as much as I can. Just take the throttle body. All right, let's put this little tightener, little thing. Let's put that aligned and like tighten this thing so it doesn't come off when you put it on the other side. So let's do that real quick. Right after the guy, that guys, you're gonna go grab your other coupling and you're gonna get your little thingy that tightens that I forgot to call. Put that in the comments below. You're gonna attach this right here. So you can attach this to the mass airflow. So let's do that real quick. Let's just put this on right there. Alright guys, after you have put the coupling on, you're gonna tighten your clamp. That's what 
what it's called, clamp. While you have that on, there's gonna be some space right here. The next part is gonna be your mass airflow tubing. This tubing is the part which has go your mass airflow basically goes in. And your mass airflow is gonna be in an angle like this. You're gonna angle it so like upwards, but a little bit slightly on this side because your harness. Try putting this in as far as you possibly can, quickly, so make sure you space. Let's do that real quick. All right, after you have got all this piping done, you're gonna go grab your intake filter. Thank God, I don't need to run back to AutoZone. They came with a clamp on here. But let's pull this out of the cover real quick. All right, guys, we have pulled this out. This is actually really nice. For what you paid for, you get what you got. So you're gonna put your intake in there. Put it on that clamp right there. Oh my God, is it gonna be touching? That's a real question. So let's do that real quick. Alright guys, after you have got that on, you're basically almost done. You're going to twist this thing around and let's tighten that up real quick with our flathead. I recommend you should tighten this pretty good because this thing was a pain in the butt to put on. So let's tighten that real quick. Right after that, you're basically done with the job. So I told you guys not to look, uh, tighten these clamps too much. But now we're basically done with the job. You're going to pull this back in, see if anything is off. Pull it on size this so it doesn't touch your battery terminals and you're just gonna tighten it up so let me just tighten these all up real quick i have tightened every single one of the clamps so there's one two one two three four five clamps going on every single one of these pieces after i put my flathead over i'll loose unloosen these little uh, screws with the screwdriver for your mass airflow i'm just going to use these screws because my mass airflow screws are gone so you guys can do whatever with that let's take these screws off let's take both of them off and go get our mass airflow real quick after you got your mass airflow out of your safe spot make sure to be very careful with this you're gonna slide this in very slowly and nicely and make it so it fits in it fits in perfectly Yes, I actually put this on the wrong way, so make sure to figure out which way you put this on. So I'm going to unloosen these two, flip this piping over. So you're going to grab your mass airflow because you just put that on, mass airflow sensor, and put the harness on. There it goes. Voila. Basically, you're done. But can't forget these two little nipples. So you're going to grab, I'm actually going to use this nipple for this one again. So let's grab that. Put that in. Grab this little thing, move this over here. After this nipple is on, this is rubber, so it should flex around. And after that, you're gonna grab your guys self the, the little stuff they have gave you, the noodle looking things. You're gonna measure this out. So basically you're gonna measure it from here. You don't have to need a scissor for sure. So you're gonna measure it from here to here. So cut it so it fits perfectly. I recommend putting a lot on this because they have not gave us one of these so i'm most likely going to use this one for this this end part because this is kind of slippery so put it onto this end and go to autozone go pick one up and put it on here so let's do that real quick all right guys i am actually done i have put the mass airflow so before we are done with sure guys installation i recommend you guys to go over and retighten every single one of the things you have done so all the couple all the uh these little things and there's one thing you guys will have to go pick up you guys are gonna have to go to autozone and go pick up these little clamps with the ones you screw on type because they didn't provide you guys one so you're gonna put one right here and grab another one put one right here that's how it looks guys let me grab my keys real quick and let's go start up all right guys instantly starting up the car hopefully you guys can hear me i'm gonna be screaming a little bit but instantly starting up the car, you can hear the intake sucking in air. That's so cool. Oh my God. All right, let me go check my car is warmed up real quick so I can give you some rev tests. 